the first thing you need to do is to evaluate the aluminum surface you're going to be polishing. If it is heavily oxidized or you've had to sand the surface, you will need to start with a heavy cutting wheel and rouge bar combination. If it's not that bad, move right into primary cutting. Today we're going to demonstrate the different steps you might need in the machine polishing process to achieve that metal mirror shine. For demonstration purposes, we're going to start off with heavy cutting. This is the orange roughy clear dip. You're going to want to use this with the 87 stainless bar rouge. Every once in a while, you're going to want to clean the edge of that buffing wheel with a wheel rake. What that's going to do is clean off any burnt on rouge on the edge of that wheel that may discolor that aluminum. In between steps, a good product to use that's going to help clean off that aluminum and any rouge that may be left on that surface is going to be the Pro 50 Eliminator. This product's going to open up the pores of the aluminum and just help make the polishing job go a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to switch into a primary cutting wheel. In this case, it's uh, one of our 10 inch fast cut wheels. As you can see, we left uh, the bottom flange on, placed the wheel, and then the top flange goes into place and tightened down with a wrench. Now we've moved into the primary cutting stage. This is normally the first step in the polishing process. We're using the 10 inch fast cut and the brown triply bar. This is probably the most important stage of the polishing process. This is where you're gonna remove most of the oxidation and the flaws in the aluminum. Make sure that you apply even pressure on that buffing wheel. You wanna go left to right, top to bottom with an overlapping motion. Make sure that you always use safety flanges with any airway buffing wheel. Now we moved in to secondary cutting using the Hall Green Airway and the Green Chrome Rouge from Zephyr. This is normally step two in the polishing process. Now we moved into final finish. We're using a 10 inch airway buffing wheel. This is untreated material for a great final finish. You can use this with the White Chrome Rouge or one of Zephyr's Platinum Series Rouge Bars. Okay, as you can see, we switched over. This is an all cotton 10 inch finishing wheel. We're using this with the Slate Bar Rouge from Zephyr. That is a high quality Platinum Series Rouge Bar for a beautiful mirror finish. When you've completed the final finish stage, you're gonna have a beautiful mirror shine. However, a lot of guys wanna take it to the next level. You can see in this demonstration, we're using one of Zephyr's 40 ply flannel wheels. We're using it with the Blue Moon Rouge for a high luster show quality shine. Remember, whenever you are machine polishing, to always use the proper safety gear. This would include an approved respirator, goggles, and gloves. And never run the airway buffing wheels above the recommended RPMs that are marked on the front label of each airway buffing wheel. When you've completed this step, this will move us right in to the final wipe down with the Pro 40 Perfection Metal Polish. You want to shake the Pro 40 very well. Apply a little bit onto a microfiber towel, rub it on, let dry, wipe it off. You'll have a beautiful mirror shine. Pro 40 Metal Polish is the easiest to use metal polish on the market today. It's going to clean, polish, and seal and protect that aluminum for a longer period of time than any of our competitors. The result is a metal mirror. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can go to ZephyrPro40.com and look for a local distributor near you.